Hi there. Today, Bolt's going to water the garden. He's got three hose pipes to choose from. Bolt's going to show us how a different amount of water comes out of long and short hose pipes and thick and thin hose pipes. Bolt's chosen the long, thin hose pipe. He's connecting it to the tap. Can you water the vegetables, please, Bolt? Bolt's robot friend is turning the tap on. It's going to take a long time to water the garden with this hose. Not much water is coming out. Do you think the short, thin hose will give more water? Why? More water comes out of a short hose pipe than a long hose pipe of the same thickness. The long hose pipe gives more resistance to the water and holds it back. Bolt has one more hose pipe to try, a short, thick hose pipe. This one is the same length as the short, thin hose pipe. Do you think more or less water will come out of the thick hose pipe? Why? Be careful, Bolt! <laughs> I told you to be careful, Bolt. Now we can definitely see that more water comes out of the thick hose pipe than out of the same length of thin hose pipe. The thick hose pipe gives less resistance to the water. We can apply. How you've seen water flow in hose pipes to electric current flow in wires. Bolt has a long length and a short length of electric cable. Both cables are the same thickness. Which one do you think will be more resistant to the current flowing through? <laughs> yes. The long one will be more resistant. Long cables give more resistance to the flow of electricity than short cables. What about thin and thick wires? Bolt has a thick wire and a thin wire. Both wires are the same length. Which one do you think will be more resistant to the current flowing through? Yes, the thin wire gives more resistance to the flow of electricity than thick wire. Thanks, Bolt. Your hose pipes have been a useful model to understand how resistance to current is affected by the length and thickness of the wires.